Yo, what's up? It's your boy Max. And I'm bringing you Rainbow Six Siege, but it's going to be a look a little bit different video. I'm going to show you guys, you know, everything. So once this loads, let's get into the video. So we are in the theater room on the second floor. And like, I, I mean, I feel as though if you're in this room, you definitely got to patch up this back wall. Most definitely. And then definitely these side panels and then this side wall right here. And then hopefully you can get this one right here. Right? You, might, you might be able to poke it open. But I feel like for Valkyrie, that this that, that's the outside window right there. So I feel as though I would put... See, and on top of that, there is stairs right here. So And then right around that corner. So like I will put, I will put a camera right in there. Hopefully it's discreet. When you come in here, they not gonna really be able to see that around the corner. Not really, unless you're really looking at it. Even like right here. I mean, you kind kind of can see it, but you know, people don't really look. And then when the way the camera looks, look look how beautiful that is. Beautiful. You can see the whole stairs, that window, and that whole hallway, which is great. All right. So in this room, this is a really big, huge room. You don't have to patch up this wall right here. Actually. If I if I was like defending this room, I will probably I will probably blow this wall right here to be honest. Blow that wall, blow that hatch. At least having a two way right there, you can look all the way down here, which makes it great for putting cameras. So let me see let me see what else I can put a camera. So like that's outside right there, of course. A lot of people do. A lot of people do like to be in this little bathroom area, which I hate being in. You, you just don't have nowhere to go. You just, you literally just trap yourself in there. And I just, I don't agree with that at all. And then, uh, of course, the hallway. But what I would do is put a camera right here. Only because, for one, you get the whole, you get the whole room. And then you also can get a little bit of that window that's outside. And then you can also, also see the hostage, which is great. And then also, just for, you know, extra luck and whatever, what I do is I just put a camera right on this ceiling. So you get, you get the whole view of the room that you're in. Like, no matter if you're dead or not, if you put it right in the middle, normally people don't really see it. And if they do see it, like, you can put it towards, like, the speaker or something, or you can even, so you don't want to put it near a wall, because they can blow it up. You don't want to do that. You can actually put it on that clock right there, which is a great wall to put it on, so you can actually see the whole view. Let me see if I can grab it again. Get up. Pick it up. Time expires in 10 seconds. I will put it, actually, on the clock. Let me see. Right, okay, right. That's not the perfect, but you can kind of get a gif of what I do see. Look at that beautiful room. You can see the hostages. You can see me. You can pretty much see everything, which is great. And for this room, that's my camera setup. We are in the VIP lounge, and I'm just going to show with Valkyrie where I put the locations at, which helped me out a lot. That's the window right there. So everybody, no matter what, I don't care, there will be somebody out this window shooting, doing something. So what I do is first Down to 10 on this beautiful, very elegant, exquisite, Hostage was not located. I can't think of any other words, light. I just put a, uh, let's put one right there. So in saying that you can see like pretty much the whole room and also you can see outside. But right actually as the timer ends, what I do is that pole right there I mean you I guess you can throw it over there but on that pole I try to get it like that so when people do like I'll break it put it on the pole and then reclose it so look at this look you can see everything and also down in that distance all the way down there there is another camera over there let me see if I can see it See that camera way, way over here? See, you can't even see my camera, to be honest. Beautiful, beautiful placement. People will never notice. There is a door right there. But 
beautiful placement. I like to put, you know, my cameras here because it just looks like really good. You could just close this. Normally, when I just throw it, close it. A lot of people like to hang out in the penthouse for some reason. Like, that's just a chill spot. I'm not sure why they do that stuff. But because the hostage is, you know, in that direction. So, like, if somebody coming through that way, they kind of generally will walk this way and around. So, what I do is on this corner right here at the top. You already know what it is. Camera time. So you can already see. Just look. Just look at it. This is so exciting. Like, yo, people think like I just throw cameras everywhere. No, you gotta actually think about what you're doing when you're throwing it around. Hello, but um, you can see like, look, you can see that doorway. You can see them literally from the other doorway, and you can see them walk in everything. Okay, guys. So as I see, when you're playing hostage. There's only like four locations where you can place the hostages. It's either on a two places on the second floor, two places on the first floor. And right now we are in the kitchen. And I'm going to show you guys the location of where I put the cameras and where it's most affected for me, per se. You can see right here. The kitchen is a really big area. You know, this is a humongous area. So you definitely... 100% will want to put a camera somewhere in this room where you can see the hostage so if they ever do take the hostage you can see it okay so I put it like right at like eye level only because I see that it looks like you really cannot see it like if somebody was coming through that window unless somebody was on the camera you can see it but not really, not at all. You can still see the hostage, which is great. Because this is a huge, a huge room. And you definitely do want at least one camera for Valkyrie in this room. And on top of that, that little corner slit right there is a doorway. And that would be great for you know, somebody coming around that corner right there. Instead of just putting it on that corner where it makes it so like you can kind of see everything. But I feel like that's a better spot because it wouldn't be blown up. Back in this room, the service interest room, I found that that spot is not good if they do blow up that wall. Because it did destroy my camera. But that spot right there is okay. But you can't see who's coming in this direction. I feel as though the best spot for this room so in this corner, oh yeah, this is great. So in this corner, the hostage are over there. So the kitchen is to your right. You can break the wall right in front of you. There is another doorway which you can see somebody coming through to the service room. And on top of that, that's outside and you can also, you know, see them coming that way as well. So I feel as though like this is the best, for me, this is my best placement for a camera which is great I also have the camera placement here this is I found that this is better because you can see the doorway in there and then you can still see that window and it's low enough so they can't spot it right away but they do know there is a camera there okay so I do like this spot a lot because you you do get the full hallway there and there but the downfall about it is you miss this whole doorway and I feel like they put this pillar there on purpose so you do miss the whole you cannot get what you want at all alright guys this, this is the blue bar area and this is basically I'm just going to show you guys where I put my cameras for Valkyrie um this area is not big as the kitchen area but I do feel as though you still probably do need a camera and this, yeah, that's a break of a wall. Yeah, so you do need a camera in this room. There's a lot of... I'm basically going to show you guys where I put the camera locations. I feel as though it's the best locations for this. And the only non-breakable walls are, are these two that's close together so that people don't blow up the camera on accident or, you know, whatever. So I will probably put the camera in that corner right there not on the corner of both of the walls but like high enough 
So therefore, like you can see that whole back wall, that window, the doorway. It's a beautiful area. Like I personally, I personally do put a camera right there. I find it that people really don't see this camera location even near the steps. I just kind of keep it facing this way at all times because you can see the hallway right before they're coming around the corner. You can see, what is that? The, the That's a bar. I don't know the name of that. There's a bar over there. The Sunrise Bar. And also you can see the kitchen, which is great. And then, of course, the hallway and a little, little bit of the steps. All right, guys. So, if we... The hostage is in the blue bar, and this is right next to it. So the hostage is right over there. You can see the, you can see the little diamond over there. I am right there. So there is a doorway right underneath the camera, which is a great spot for the hostage, for the camera. And I actually did blow a hole through, and because I threw, blew a hole through, you could actually see the other window through the hole, which is a great area to put a camera and on top of that you can see that doorway right there like this spot helped me out so many times especially like if you have people who you you do talk to and you tell them like don't tag nobody I'm gonna just tell you where they are they're coming in they're not coming in shoot through the wall this and that and this location right here has helped me out so many different occasions even though this map has not been out that long, but I love this spot. Thank you for tuning in. All right, peace. That whole doorway right there. Siri, be quiet. I did not call your name. Stop. Don't not call the house.